noise you just heard was the, uh, the small 12 volt air pump that we use to aerate the compost tea while we're going from job to job. Um, really helps to extend the uh, really helps to extend the uh, usefulness of the compost tea. Most of the important parts are on the side of the sprayer. But this is the uh, you know the Honda motor. It's very much standard. Very very easy to start. This is the diaphragm pump. It looks complicated, but it's really, really simple. There's, there's only one control we have to use to get it up and running once the motor's started. And you're just gonna flip this lever, and that's gonna uh, dial in how many pounds per square inch we're gonna be applying the T at. <coughs> the, uh, we have a hose reel on each side, so two people could be working on opposite sides of the truck. This makes, uh, makes things a lot more efficient. Um, might run out of time, but worth mentioning. This is that soil, um, that root feeder, if you will, and that's going to thread right onto the end of this gun. And is that the same company? Yeah, is it? It's made by made by Green Guard. Yeah, these are really really good, and they're uh, they're cost effective and they're really uh, for what they are. They're really not that expensive. They're a really good tool. Uh, on the opposite side, oh, before we go over there, this is uh, this is the strainer. So this is a pretty important part of the sprayer, but it's a this is a big strainer, which is really what you want. You don't want a small strainer. Um, when you're cleaning up after you spray, good idea to take this cartridge out. And, pretty easy. Pardon me. It's pretty easy to yeah, get. Yeah, you just spin it right out, and it, it comes off in your hands. And uh, you might want to scrub it out with a little hydrogen peroxide, simple simple green. This is. This is an area where biofilm would tend to accumulate because it's it's kind of a big area that's out of sight, out of mind. 